Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will be discussing symmetric and anti-symmetric signals. Okay. So basically, symmetric signals are also known as even signals, while anti-symmetric signals are also known as odd signals. Let's start with the even signals or symmetric signals. An signal in discrete time, which is basically denoted as x of n, is considered even if it satisfies the following condition. Which condition? X of n should be equal to x of minus n. Okay, for all n. Right, so if any discrete signal x of n satisfy this condition, then we can say that that signal x of n is what even signal. Hope this is clear to you. Fine, now let's move to the next. So, an even signal is a discrete time signal that is symmetrical with respect to n is equal to 0. It means that the signal is same on both sides of the vertical axis or time origin. This means that the signal is what identical on both sides of the vertical axis or time origin. Let's see the example then you will understand better. So here we have a signal x of n. So if you see the value at 1 is what 1. The value at minus 1 is also 1. The value at 2 is 3. The value at minus 2 is also 3. The value at 3 is what 2. The value at minus 3 is also 2. Same for the 4. So this signal is what? Is same on both the sides, right? Is same on both the sides. Or you can say, you know, this signal is identical on both the sides. Right? Hope this much is clear to you. Fine. That's why we are calling this signal as what? Even signal. Even or symmetric. Symmetric signal. Hope this example is clear to you. Or another way is what? What is x of minus n? Folding, right? Folding of a signal basically. So if you fold like this, you will get this signal. That is why this is what? Even signal or symmetric signal. Right? So, sequence representation for the signal is like this. Value 2, we are getting at n is equal to 0. Now, if you compare this in this way and this way, this both are what? Identical. Identical. Am I right? We are getting identical values. Correct? That is why we are calling it as even signal. Even signal. Okay, fine. So even signals are what? Symmetrical about the vertical axis or time origin. So about the vertical axis also if you see this and this are what? Symmetrical or identical. Right? So hope this thing is clear to you easy fine let's go to the next so on the other hand an odd signal is a discrete time signal x of n that satisfy the condition which condition x of minus n is equal to is equal to what minus of x of n for all for all n, right? So if a signal satisfy this condition, then we can say like it is an odd signal or anti-symmetric signal. Hope this is clear to you. So this signal exhibit anti-symmetry with respect to n is equal to 0. So when a discrete time signal exhibits anti-symmetry with respect to n is equal to 0, then it is called an odd signal. So let's understand this by the help of example. So if you see this particular example, it is an odd signal. 
but why i'm calling it as odd signal so for this if i want to draw the symmetrical behavior then at 1 it should give 1 right x of 1 should be 1 but it is giving opposite like minus 1 at 2 the value is 2 but here if you check at minus 2 if if it is symmetrical then the value should be 2 right but what you are getting minus 2 which means anti symmetrical behavior same for 3 the value is what minus 2 so here it should come as minus 2 but you are getting plus 2 means anti symmetrical behavior same for 4 also here it is minus 1 and here it is plus 1 so this is what anti symmetrical or anti symmetrical okay clear if it is symmetrical then it should show which type of behavior at minus 1 it should show 1 means x of m n should be 1 at minus 2 it should be 2 at minus 3 it should be what minus 2 at minus 4 it should be what minus 1 if it is what symmetrical but this is what anti symmetrical that is why you are getting the opposite amplitudes right so hope this is clear to you so you can represent this like this x of n is equal to this so 1 instead of 1 you are getting here minus 1 2 Here you are getting minus two, minus two you are getting plus two, minus one you are getting one. So this is what an odd signal. This is what odd signal. So in a simple sense, odd signals are what anti-symmetrical about the vertical axis. This is anti-symmetrical, right? So first fold this like this, right? You will get a symmetrical. Then do like this. So you will get an anti-symmetrical. Simple. so note so sin sequence is an example of odd signal so a sinusoidal sequence is a great example of an odd signal so let me show you the sinusoidal sequence so you will understand this better so this is what a sinusoidal sequence see okay so this is what an odd odd signal why i am calling it as odd signal because this signal is also anti symmetric about the vertical axis if it was suppose it was symmetric then the behavior should be it is like this right then the behavior should be like this it should come like this right then we can say it is what symmetric in nature but it is opposite of that it is coming like this okay so first fold like this and whatever the behavior you got fold like this so this is what anti symmetric behavior so sin sequence is was a great example of an odd signal hope this is clear to you fine let's go to the next now cosine sequence is an example of a even signal so cosine sequence is what a perfect example of an even sequence so if you want to see i can show you here see This is what a cosine sequence. We already know this graph well. So if you see the behavior like this and like this, it is symmetrical. If you see, it is what identical both the sides. Identical both the sides, right? If you see only this part, if you just fold it, you will get this one. So x of n is equal to what? X of minus n. That is why this is what even signal. Even signal. which is basically what identical on both sides of the vertical axis or time origin hope this is clear to you if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section but this concepts are easy concept just give a proper time to understand this fine let's move to the next okay so but here is the interesting part any discrete time signal x of n right can actually be expressed as sum of even and odd components so even if a signal does not exhibit perfect symmetry or anti symmetry it can still be broken down into these two components so we can decompose a discrete time signal x of n like 
sum of even components and odd components so where x x e of n is what even part of x of n x x not n is what odd part of x of n so you can write like this so basically if x of n is what even signal pure even signal right then its odd part will be zero and if x of n is what pure odd signal then its even part will be zero make this thing clear so this is what a formula to calculate the even and odd part of a signal so even part 1 by 2 x of n plus x of minus n so this formula is for even part and to calculate the odd part 1 by 2 x of n minus x of minus n so this is to calculate the odd part so i showed you this formula directly here but don't worry in the next lecture i am going to prove this okay it is not making any sense just by reading this we we should know how to get this behavior how to get this formula how can we derive this okay so in the next lecture i will show you from where we get this formula to calculate the even part of a signal or a odd part of a signal so that's all about symmetric and anti-symmetric signals for now let's see the proof or you can say the evaluation of the even part and odd part of a signal in next lecture so don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel if you have any doubt please ask in the comment section thanks for tuning in